Hey folks, it's Greg and Jan with Strange RV Tours. Today we are in Longview, Texas, and we are at the First National Bank of Longview. At least that's what it was called in 1894. And this is a very historical site. We're going to tell you why. All right, this building here back in 1894 was the First National Bank of Longview. And on May 23rd, 1894, two rough looking men walked into this bank. They looked like they had been traveling on horseback or whatever for maybe a week or two, rough looking guys. One of the men had a Winchester rifle tucked underneath his slicker so that it wouldn't be seen. And they went over to the bank president's desk and the man holding the Winchester rifle handed the bank president a note which read this will introduce you to charles beckemeyer who wants some money and is going to have it signed b and f and b and f stood for bill and friends the person named bill that it was referring to was bill dalton this was the last bank robbery committed by the dalton gang this was the robbery that brought the gang to its end. While Bill Dalton and one other man, I'm assuming it would have been Mr. Jim Bennett, who was an alias for, or James Wilson Wallace, was inside the bank with Bill Dalton at the time. Now, there was also two brothers, their last name was Knight, Jim and Judd Knight were laying in wait here in this alleyway as lookouts. Well, who knows exactly how the town figured out the bank was being robbed. We don't know if they were tipped off or if they had knowledge beforehand that something was going to happen, but a gunfight broke out here. And there was over 200 rounds fired in this gunfight here in this alley out in front of the bank. Inside the bank, when the gunfire broke out, the bank president, one of the, uh, the men, the man with the rifle inside was going to shoot the bank president. And as he started to, the bank president reached out with his hand and tried to grab the gun away from him. And his hand got lodged between the hammer and the bullet. So it didn't fire, but he did receive a flesh wound on the hand. Outside, when they came outside, Mr. Jim Bennett was shot and killed. And one of the Knight brothers ran over to check on him and proclaimed oh god they've killed they've killed bennett so that's how they determined that that was mr bennett now in this gunfire there was in the gunfight there was three men killed and several injured the of course the bank president was injured um, there was a local saloon keeper by the name of jw mcqueen who was killed a Mr. Charles S. Learned was shot in the leg and his leg had to be amputated and that happened out in front of the courthouse which must have been right in this area and then there was a, a, a another citizen that was killed a Mr. George Buckingham and then the city marshal Mr. Matthew Muckleroy was shot in the abdomen and lucky for him, he was carrying a bunch of silver dollars in his pocket and the bullet deflected off the silver, silver dollars, saving his life. After the gang got away with $2,000 and a handful of unsigned banknotes, the three men went their different ways. Mr. Bill Dalton was captured two weeks later in Oklahoma he had been trying to use some of the banknotes to purchase a wagon and supplies. And that tipped the local authorities off, who then tracked him down to his hideout. And while trying to escape the gunfire there, or the ambush, he was shot and killed. The Knight brothers were killed, I think, three years later in a different robbery. So that was the end of the Dalton gang. This is the bank that caused the decline of the gang. Now, we talked to the curator, one of the curators inside the museum, and they said that there was no bullet holes inside the, the old bank building. 
but we thought we'd come out here and check around the alley to see if there's any damage that could have been done by the bullets I'm, I'm just looking like that's not good. these bricks are so old that there's all kinds of chips in them so I'm not sure if any of these chips were caused by bullets or if it was uh, by other stuff this looked like it could have been yeah possibly from a bullet because that's in that's not a chip just that's actually in the grout yeah and it looks like, like something deflected off yeah, of it yeah that's a problem oh there's another one right over here too yeah no there's yeah in fact i bet these i bet these are from from, from some of the bullets because like this one has some markings around it where somebody's trying to point out this spot yeah and there's all these here yeah possibility look at this yeah yeah that's a big one yeah that's a, two separate break, bricks also mm -hmm. so, we're true. such good detectives y'all <laughs> uh, <laughs> now inside this uh, bank they have a museum and supposedly in the old bank vault they have an area dedicated to the robbery of the bank here by the Dalton gang and we're gonna go inside and check that out and let you guys see what they have and what I understand they have the actual note that was handed to the bank president and they have some of the weapons that were used in the gunfight what a beautiful building though gorgeous building but for 200 200 rounds to be fired in that gunfight so there had to be a lot of people shooting yep so and we don't have any any knowledge of how many townspeople were involved in shooting at the gang uh, they did form a posse and that's how they eventually captured Bill Dalton yeah. all right this is we're inside the bank that was robbed by the Dalton gang in 1894 and this is the actual vault for the bank it's still here Let's see wow look at the locking mechanism on that thing that's all carved out or etched out and that neat yeah it's like a piece of art inside this vault they're supposed to have a display of the Dalton gang and their robbery attempt here their successful robbery attempt yeah kind of okay. and let's see it says that bill dalton was not the only outlaw of the dalton family although his brother frank was killed while on duty as a deputy marshal at least three of bill's brothers bob gratt and emmett had also taken to crime two of them dying in the famous shootout in coffeeville kansas in 1892 Bill's mother was an aunt of the infamous younger brothers Cole, Jim, John, and Robert who made such a name for themselves in the Old West. Although no definitive evidence of the connection has yet been found, there is some speculation that the two families were also related to the family of Frank and Jesse James. And these are some photos of the different uh, Dalton brothers. There's Gratt. Yeah, there was 15 Robert kids. Emmett. But this man right here, William Marion Bill Dalton, was the mastermind behind the robbery that took place here. He was the only Dalton brother remaining in the Dalton gang at the time. This is more on the Dalton family and how they became outlaws. Yeah, and this is when... Uh, Frank and Ben Dalton were, were actual marshals. So there were some, you know, they were in law enforcement at one point, numerous brothers. That's pretty cool. You know, and they're not making enough money. And that's what I heard made them turn to crime. This is a photo of Bill Dalton after his death. He looks bloated, but it says that he had, uh, his body had sat in the sun for several hours That's in the cool. back of a wagon. It had been drenched with water several times in an effort to keep it cool, but the picture taken in Ardmore makes it obvious that the body became badly swollen from the heat. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. 
And this is a photograph of Jim Bennett, one of the bank robbers. He was killed here at the side of the bank. It says it is generally reported that Bennett was shot from a window by attorney Claude Lacey. Others claim the deputy city marshal Will Stevens had shot the bandit from point blank range. A newspaper dated May 24, 1894 reported deputy Will Stevens was not hurt, although he stood at close range and killed one of the robbers. Fear of the gang's return to avenge Bennett's death may have prompted news or townspeople to keep the shooter's identity vague. This Mr. Claude Lacey there. Yeah, they say that Bennett's name might have been James Wilson Wallace. That's the rumor. And this is the timeline of the Dalton gang. Yeah. And from what we've been able to determine, this was the last robbery that the Dalton gang ever performed or, or tried. Here's some scenes of the downtown area at the time. This is a picture of the inside of the bank during that time period. That's where we're at right now. In fact, if you look right back here, that looks like the vault that we're standing in right there. That's cool. That's cool. Now, Bill was killed up in Oklahoma a couple of weeks later, right? Yes. All right, we've got a display of guns here. This 38 caliber Ivor Johnson revolver belonged to Longview City Marshal Matt McElroy, according to his granddaughter, Molly Gresham. McElroy gave the gun to his wife to carry. The owl head emblem is a trademark of this double action revolver and can be seen on the side of the grip. Yeah, right, let me see if I can zoom in on this. Hold on just a second. All right, this is as far as I can zoom in, but I'll kind of show you here right there on the handle is a little owl head. Okay, the second gun here. This 32 caliber revolver was a type of often used as a backup weapon and small enough to be carried in a boot. It was probably produced by Ivor Johnson, but the company's early revolvers were almost entirely marketed under trade names only and did not bear the owl head trademark. This Winchester lever action 38 was used by a member of the Dalton gang during the robbery of the First National Bank of Longview. So this weapon here was used during the robbery right here at this location. They still have it and it looks like it's in perfect condition. Amazing. And then here's the original holdup note that was used by Bill Dalton during the bank robbery. It's deteriorated over the last hundred years. Recent conservation has stabilized its condition. And let me zoom in on this for you. See if we can read that. That writing is really faded. Can you can you read that, Jan? Okay, okay. It's a. Uh, this will introduce you to Charles Beckemeyer, who wants some money, and is going to have it. Have it? Yeah, have it. Sign B and F. And B and F is supposed to be Bill and Friends, so Bill Dalton and Friends. Mm -hmm. It's amazing yeah. that that note has survived. Cashier. This is something cashier at the very top. This is May 23rd. So, yeah, it was May 23rd, 1894. 1894. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV tube So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air. Strange RV Tours is on.